right, welcome back. Welcome back. I don't know. It's been a while. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing a travel bag get ready with me. I'll also show you like the stuff in my travel bag as I get ready. Let me just show you what it looks like really quick. This is where I carry all my makeup. This is my travel bag. I honestly live out of this bag more than I do out of like my actual like neatly organized makeup collection. Like even on days when I'm like at home and I'm getting ready, I still dig through this bag. And the inside I have this little like, this little toiletry bag. So in here I just keep little toiletries, feminine products, you know, feminine napkins and the sort. But in here it has two big pockets. The thing I like about this bag is like you can just throw little bags like this. Up here I have toiletries, stuff for washing my face, things like that. And down here I have my actual makeup. This is like everything I carry with me on the daily when I don't forget to take this with me. But we're going to start out with foundation. I'll just kind of like show you everything that's in here as I use it. So this is a little repurposed container. In here, I keep the Milani. I think it's called a 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect. Something like that's called. Um, it's in the shade 01 Vanilla. And I don't really use this foundation anymore. I just kind of have it in there. Because like, I don't, I don't like wasting product, okay? I just don't like wasting product. So I have it in there in hopes that maybe I'll use it. But... In general, I don't really wear a lot of foundation anymore. I used to like cake on the product because I had like awful, 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 awful acne. Like if you think this is bad, you have not seen bad at all. Anyway, I don't really use a lot of foundation just because I like to reserve it for more like special days, special occasions, stuff like that. But since I don't use this one at all and I honestly wouldn't use it even like just to go to like Walmart. But since then I have upgraded to like a foundation that matches me that I like a lot, it doesn't break down, and it's awesome. And it's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. I use the color 150. And so I'm gonna take this. I care. I tried squirting a little bit of that in here, but it's like, it didn't really work. This is my little makeup brush that this is from Sephora. It came with like a bunch of little brushes. I've added some in here since using this. Like I'll just show you real quick what it looks like. I added the, this brush in, this is a Japanese brush, and then like a, I forget what this is, a Sonia Kasha brush, then another Sonia Kasha brush. So this is my little brush set. I, like again, again, because I don't really wear a lot of foundation, I end up not using the brushes very often. But for today, I'm going to use this little paddle brush, I think is what it's called, this foundation brush. And I'm going to grab my little foundation and just, you know squirt it on here Ooh. i like to concentrate it on the spots that i need foundation the most this is where i mainly concentrate my foundation just because that's where i have like the most blemishes i'm gonna cover that up a little bit because it's unsightly My thing with makeup is, and this isn't any like shade to anybody, is I still want to look like myself. Like I want to be able to take off the makeup. It's still like recognize the face that's underneath all that makeup and still like that face because the thing with makeup is if you overdo it, you start to dislike what you really look like when you're not wearing it. And I would know because I honestly, I went through that phase. Like when I was breaking out super bad last year, like the beginning of the year, I started wearing so much makeup all the time because I was covering the acne. This cat, give me a minute, I'm gonna go strangle my cat real quick. Vincent, why are you meowing so much? Oh, he saw me coming, so he shushed. What was I saying? Um, oh yeah. So when I was wearing a lot of makeup to cover up like my misbehaving skin over here, I got to a point where I started, I actually started hating what my skin looked like when I wasn't wearing any foundation. The only thing that really helped that, like that feeling go away of like not liking myself without makeup on was honestly just working on my skincare and getting my skin back to like a nice place. That's really all that worked. And also wearing less makeup because 
sometimes I can just, you know, put more emphasis on the things you're trying to hide instead, instead of like hiding them. But since then, since my skin got a little bit better to the point that like I could go out to Walmart with like my acne filled skin and be fine with it, um, my relationship with makeup has changed greatly. Like whereas before I saw it more like, like a shield from like the outside world was like so they wouldn't see me. I used it like a shield versus now I use it more like to enhance what's already there. Like I don't, I try not to go too overboard because like I want to like myself like what I look like without makeup so um, anyway we're gonna move on to a little bit of blush this is my little blush palette all the blushes in here I could not tell you what they are called by name because I honestly don't remember anyway this is the blush palette right here um I got this little Z palette from Sephora I like it a lot just because my whole aesthetic with my makeup bag is everything black and white it's just me how I like things I don't carry any lipsticks or lip glosses except for like lip balm in my travel bag. I do that mainly because I want to be able to use this cheek palette for cheeks and lips. So I try to make it work because I'm trying to carry less so that bag isn't so heavy. So today I'm going to go in with... What color do I want to go in with? I decided that I was going to go in with this like little pink color right here. Just something a little bit subtle. I don't want to go too heavy with a blush just because like i said i like to keep my skin my makeup more on the naturalish side so i'm just gonna like apply this on the apples of my cheeks this is gonna probably start it out like that and then i just blend 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 i know it looks super intense right now but oh god i might have made a mistake just give me a moment, I'll fix this, I promise. So since I went a little too heavy handed there, I'm gonna concentrate a lot of like of my foundation on this beauty blender. And just kind of disperse it all over the cheek. The blush is pretty pigmented. And I guess a bright color, so you're still gonna see it underneath all of the foundation I just put on right now. One of the criticisms that I saw a lot with the Fenty foundation and the beauty sponge was that the sponge really soaks up a lot of foundation. And while I haven't used their beauty tools, I can't really comment on that. But when you use it like with any regular sponge, it seems to be fine. I don't have a beauty blender, but I use just like the Eco Tools sponges and the Estonia Kashuk sponges, those really cute ones that have that marble pattern. Those are the ones that I use. Alright, so that's all done. And usually after like the Fenty foundation, I don't powder just because like it's already um, a pretty dry formula. So I try to like just leave it alone. But since I did put in some cream blush i'm gonna have to powder the powder that i use is this milani powder i don't remember what color it comes in because i'm dumb and i like to rip off all like the tags just that's me it's what i do so i'm gonna grab this brush right here take that powder and just kind of disperse it where i need it the most and there's no specific reason why i bought this powder well not relating to like its actual performance like Actually, there's a specific reason. I bought it just because I wanted to keep all like the makeup in my bag black and white. And this one was black gold, but it still matches. Alright, so I'm going to take that and just gently tap it. The next logical step would be some setting spray since I'm done here with my base. But see, I have this theory that setting spray doesn't really do anything. Like... It's just extra stuff we're selling people and making them think they, they need it when they really don't. Just like primer. I really don't think we need primer unless you have like really like, I guess, pockmarked skin. Well, not really pockmarked because like nothing will cover that. Honestly, for that, you'd have to just go get like a skin peel. But my point is, I don't believe in primer just because like it doesn't really do anything. Like 
I've had expensive primers that did absolutely nothing. And that's my thing with foundation too. Like if I'm, if I'm going to spend $34, which is how much this costs by the way, on foundation, then like it better work, it better do its job, do everything. Because I'm not going to spend like almost $50 on foundation for it to like still need other products to like aid it to make it work. Like no, like. The only time I would use a primer was if I had like a cheaper foundation that didn't quite do its job. Um, otherwise, rant over. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna go off my rant here and move on to the next thing. So I have the base done, cheeks done, which honestly when I'm traveling, I don't really do any of that. I only like do under eye and like blend that out and leave it. I let my acne just kind of show through because again, I want my skin to look like skin. I am going off on tangents so much on this video. Anyway, I digress. So, now that that's done, I'm going to move on to like my eye makeup because that's looking a little bit bare here. So this is the other little bag that I carry in my makeup bag. This is the one that I generally generally take out of my bag when I'm going somewhere and I want to go somewhere fast like, and I want to take off the makeup bag because I know I'm not going to do anything. I just take this bag with me because as all my eye products, my general rule is if I'm not going to wear any makeup, I have to at least like fill in my eyebrows, um, do some mascara. Just It makes me look a little bit more awake and I just kind of prefer that look just like only foundation and or not only foundation, only like eye makeup and no foundation. I'll show you real quick everything that I carry in this little bag. So in here I have this cute Sonia Kashuk little like compact mirror it has a little velvet pouch i keep it in there just because like the rubber material this is made out of gets dirty easily and i want to keep it clean and it just looks like like that it's really cute i like it a lot i actually do use this a lot i have an eyelash curler as well also from sonia kasha i also don't really use this a lot because eyelash curlers they scare me quite a bit so i try to only i mostly have this for aesthetics in my bag i'm gonna be honest since today is sort of like a special occasion, since I'm doing this for a video, I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner. But this I have to do with silence because I can't focus on eyeliner and the wing, so. Alright, my eyeliner is finished, and after having to do that, I think I have a new rule in life, which is if you're good at something, don't stop doing it, because the moment you stop, there's no improving, is there? You just have to keep going. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to some mascara, and I like to use this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is a nice mascara because like, it makes your eyelashes look really long and kind of separate it. So this mascara, I use it, it has a dual purpose. I put on for mascara, and then I fill in my eyebrows with it. Just because my whole thing with my my <laughs> I can't talk. my thing with my makeup bag is I want to have less product in there and more stuff that I that has like versatile that is very versatile that like the cheek thing I can use that for lips and for like obviously my cheeks. Okay, now that my eyelashes took the bulk of the product off, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same mascara wand without dipping it twice and I'm just gonna like brush up my eyebrow hair. I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrow hair really quick. And so um so this basically works like an eyebrow gel without being an eyebrow gel because it doesn't work that well. And so all I do is brush up the hairs I just shape my eyebrow a little bit make it look like the eyebrow of my dreams. Good behavior. Right? Alright. See that one looks thicker and bigger. And I didn't even fill anything in. All I did was brush up the hairs. So I basically like extended them like you would your eyelash hairs, right? So moving on to the next one. Oh, today is gonna be a full glam day, isn't it? Trying to be like more subtle with makeup, but like subtlety went out the window as soon as I got out with the eyeliner. So there's nothing subtle about eyeliner. All right, let me just 
and this really only works if you have dark eyebrows already if you have like blonde eyebrows and try going with a black mascara obviously it's not gonna look the best so use at your own risk so now that i have my eyebrows just kind of like i guess gel down that's when i move on to my eyebrow pencil and i use this eyebrow pencil by nyx filling in my eyebrows is my favorite part about my makeup routine just because it's like that transformation all right so i like to start more in the middle and like at the bottom of the eyebrow so that way so i can like just slowly build up the eyebrow i don't want to go in too strong right. and i like my eyebrows to look a little bit more rounded not so much not so arched. I used to go for the arch looked, but the rounded look, look, the rounded eyebrow just fits my face a little bit more. Like my face isn't angular enough for something really sharp looking. I like to give the front of my eyebrow a little bit more of a round shape. I'm also trying to, I'm, I want my eyebrow to look like it's still made out of hair and not out of eyeliner, it's just a preference. I know it sounds like I'm shit talking people who are really into like Instagram makeup, I'm really not, it's just, this is just preference, this is just how I like to make up something a little more. Hmm. Alright, now that I spend more time than necessary on one eyebrow, I can move on to the other eyebrow. So this one's a little bit... This eyebrow is the naughty eyebrow. I can never wants to cooperate. So while I know I spent a lot of time in the other eyebrow, this one's gonna need a little bit more time for me. Sorry, I was gonna like zoom in, but then teacher might should I zoom in? I think I'm gonna zoom in. I probably should have zoomed in to begin with, but the shot just occurred right now. Alright. This one can tend to look a little bit blocky if I get too heavy handed, so. I keep it pretty light strokes. If I'm honest, at first I didn't really like it. I thought the liner part of it was too hard. But the thing is, this is more for like subtly filling in your eyebrows. Like if you have really thick eyebrows and you don't really need to fill them in, but you want to just cover up with the sparseness, like this is a pretty good product for it because it doesn't like, it's not too pigmented, so it doesn't like give you like a big streak of black as soon as you put it in you don't really have to worry about using a heavy hand like you can go in heavy and it'll still look pretty like pretty subtle i mean of course when i say you can go heavy i don't mean like scrape it against your forehead because obviously that's not gonna look subtle or like gentle gently stroked if you're like forcing it onto your skin right i just realized i never put mascara on my lower lashes i'm gonna do that real quick like here but first let me just no actually i'll just go in So the last thing I have to do is just some lips. So I'm going to go back into this little blush palette and with my handy dandy little, with my little lip brush, I'm gonna go into this little palette and just kind of do, pick a lip color. And lately I've been really into just kind of like flushed looking lips. So I think I'm gonna go back into that pink just so it can match my blush a very monochromatic i might mix it with the red color that i have here this one was called like cherry pie or something like that i really don't remember yeah i'm definitely gonna mix it with the red just because it's looking a little like let's see on camera it looks really cute like it looks kind of like a 60s pink 
But in person, I don't know, I just kind of like it. It looks almost kind of doll-like, but I'm still gonna mix it in with the red because pinks I'm just not very comfortable with, okay? I'm just not. Looking nice and pink. I feel like um, with the red, I'm gonna use that to add a little bit of dimension back into my lips. I'm gonna put it down the middle. And then some right here on the... Just to kind of give it a pouty little look. Right? I'm to go back in with the pink because I got a little too excited. Looking pretty. All right, let me just go back in with that red. Um, it's because I have a look. I have a look in mind, and it's like I know I said this is gonna be like um, more of a natural look, but that clearly didn't happen. All right, I have a feeling that this look needs some. I need some lip gloss. I shall be right back. All right, for lip gloss, I have this LA Colors High Shine. You can find this at, I think, like Walmart. I don't really know. I found it at like a Dollar Tree, so I guess maybe look there. Um, I'm probably gonna start keeping this in my makeup bag just because I'm really, really into big, glossy lips at the moment. Granted, I don't always wear like a eyeliner with it just because I like to go more for like a dewy, sunny kiss kind of look. So with this, I like to just go like, dab it on. I don't, I try not to get too excited with it because like lip gloss can get gloppy and get everywhere. But I definitely put it all over my top lip. It's cause there I want all the glossiness. I know I said it, not that you shouldn't apply too much, but I can't, I can't help myself. Okay, I honestly like that. I love the gloss so much, it's so pretty. All right, so halfway through that, my battery died, so I don't know how much of it it got. All right, anyway, what I was saying at the end of that video before it rudely interrupted me by dying, I was saying now to finish off that look, I like to go with a little bit of perfume, this Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. I didn't like this at first because I tend to gravitate towards more like musky, floral, citrus perfumes. Um, that's not all together. Those are just kind of the scents that I like. For example, my favorite perfume is Bourbon by Nirvana and James, but this has really grown on me. Like, I'm actually considering buying, like, the full size bottle this was actually gifted to me so anyway i'll just spray a little bit of this just like on my neck and then on the wrist i let that just kind of sit a little bit and then i press my wrist together i like to spray it on the back of my knee as well obviously I can't show you that on camera though i mean i could but, but i don't want to all right anyway this is the finished look it's sort of like a really simple soft glam like i didn't even use highlight or anything like that I just kind of kept it pretty minimal. I think at most I used seven to eight products, something like that, not including the perfume. Um, and I have nowhere to go, so I'm going to look really nice for just chilling at home. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. I'd say I make videos every week, but I really don't. I make videos like whenever inspiration strikes. But anyway, I guess if you just like me in general, please subscribe. And if you want to like get notifications for when I make videos, because it's not often, I would click on the bell so you can get notification because I don't really have a regular schedule for when I post. It's just kind of like whenever. Um. Anyway, again, thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Should I do like a little montage of like this look? Just really sultry poses, just...